Rosh Hashanah, the head of the new year, is the awesome, holy time when God renews all of creation. As the anniversary of the creation of Adam, the first man, it's the time of judgment for every person, for the whole world, because we are all Adam's descendants, carrying forth his legacy. This is our special time to reconnect with God and to start our lives over from the very beginning. On Rosh Hashanah, we listen with rapt awe to the wake-up call of the shofar blasts, letting the wordless sound of pure breath penetrate the deepest place in our hearts, arousing the divine spark within us. As the sound reverberates deep down in our souls, it causes us to reflect, what are we doing with our lives? How have we spent our time and energy during the past year? Have we appreciated every moment that we are host to this divine breath that God breathed within us? Rosh Hashanah is all about acknowledging and declaring that God is the king, and we are his subjects. When we truly make him king over us in earnest, when we are ready to move over and make room for God in our lives, everything else falls into place, and we can begin to realign ourselves and prepare to receive the light of the new year. We can prepare to return to God and inscribe ourselves into the book of life. On Rosh Hashanah, God poses questions to each and every one of us, which we must answer. The questions are not simply like, which book will my name be written into, or what kind of a year will I have this coming year? The real questions are, how much do we care about each other? How far are we willing to go to help another person? How can we alleviate the suffering of another human being? How much do we really care about the fate of this world? How much do we care about the desecration of God's honor in this world? And how concerned are we about the spread of evil and hatred in this world? And what are we prepared to do about it? In our holiday prayers, we focus on God's desire for the unity of all mankind. We pray for the cessation of evil throughout the world in all its forms. And we pray that all people will unite and together uplift the whole world by acknowledging that God is our creator, our father, and our king. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to reveal the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequencies, and vibrations. Einstein agreed and said simply, everything is vibrations. This is exactly the secret of the power of prayer, taught by the Holy Torah from time immemorial, as revealed by our sages. Heartfelt prayer offered with sincere intention and positive energy and positive thoughts, these things always have the power to shake up the heavens, the power to uplift and bring about positive change and sweeten every decree. Each of us has a vital role to fulfill in this world, and each of us is connected to one another. Every sincere prayer has power. We can pray not only for our own needs, but for our loved ones and for each other and for the whole world. This is always true, but especially at such an auspicious and destiny-charged time like Rosh Hashanah, collective prayer is very precious in the eyes of the Creator. This Rosh Hashanah, my wife and family join me in a personal request in asking you, our beloved Jerusalem Lights community, to please consider adding to your prayer list and pray an additional prayer together with us for the complete and speedy, heal and speedy healing of our precious daughter, Ora. We believe in the power of your prayers and that they will greatly assist in her healing with Hashem's help. As Rosh Hashanah approaches, we wish one another blessings of Ktiva v'chatima tova and shana tova umetuka. May this coming new year find you and your loved ones inscribed in the book of life for Hashem's blessings of a good and sweet new year. May we all merit to the light of a brand new world filled with love, hope, peace, good health, and joy. Amen.